Hmm. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's James here. So um, we're going to start off at the house and this is what we're going to do. I'm going to grab my scuba gear. I'm going to take the tanks, but I'm not 100% sure I'm going to end up diving. So I'm just going to take them just in case, but I am going to grab my wetsuit, my fins, my snorkel, and we're going to go out on the water because I found on Google Maps what could possibly be three sunken boats. We're going to go ahead and grab my stuff and uh, we're going to get in the car and I'm in mean the truck and we're going to head out there and we'll see you on the water, alright? Um, so we're out here at the American River and we're going to do another dive. It's about that season. It's actually warming up. I got a 7 millimeter wetsuit so I am good to go. Um, right now I'm off of uh, Bradshaw Boulevard, uh, right in the back of the cuts of the residential area. Right at that break where that tree is, right there, right there. On the other side of that break, there should be three boats in the water. So we're gonna go ahead and scan this area right here, see if we can find something cool. And uh, we're gonna make our way down there and see if we can find something. So uh, let's go ahead and get it in without further ado. Anchor, guys. Point anchor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Going on, guys. Welcome back. Sorry, but I'm super hungry and I gotta eat. Um, we're gonna do a recap. Are you recording? Okay, good. So I just did the recap and it wasn't recording, so now I gotta redo it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let me take this by and we'll be good. Bam. All right, all done. So, recap. Here we go. We got a fisherman's hat. We got a homemade anchor. In the video, you guys see like two big ass rocks in there. So we got that. We got a propeller to either a aluminum boat or a kayak possibly. It did snap off, so maybe I can turn that into one for one of the kayaks here. So. We'll see. Somehow, I ended up mixing it up, but I like to put my cans under the bag. This can got in the bag, so we'll be throwing that or recycling that one. I found a red shovel. The wood's completely gone, completely shot, so there's no salvage in that. But hopefully I can clear the wood out and make a small little shovel for when I go painting for gold or something. Yeah. I found a paddle broken stick, I found a paddle, one-sided, um, it's by Supply Company, which is a pretty good brand, so there's that. I found some uh, Wally eyes, I'm not going to untangle those or anything. Whoa, that one's different, that's a homemade one, you guys, check that one out. Got like a little bug eye mosquito right there, I'm going to have to check that one out, guys, yeah, I didn't see that one. Uh, we got a spinner. The hook's completely corroded. Um, I found this nice watch. It's by uh, E-Buck. E-Gluck. E-G-L-U-C-K Corporation. Water resistant, 30 meters. Somehow it got cracked and water got in, so pretty much messed it up. But yeah. uh, Two glasses, both broken. Found a snorkel. I found snorkel goggles. These are pretty cool because I've never actually found a good pair and these look like they're good pairs so we're gonna go ahead and clean these ones up um, I've already started with the other bait as you can tell um, like I said I did the intro before this I had them all lined up right here and then I threw them in the washing bucket BAM and then I realized that I wasn't recording while they were soaking so here we go again to uh, describing what we found so let's go ahead and start with the small one we're gonna go with this watermelon flash bait. We're gonna go with a flying sea again. That's cool. So clean those up. And that one. So we're gonna rock the, the rainbow. What do you call this? Um, that is a rainbow little crank. Uh, there are no hooks to it at all, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace those ones. So that in the top box, yeah. There's this bad boy. This was a good find. Um, she was at the top of a tree, uh, right at the top of the water. I would have missed her, but I ended up following this line in the video. You guys can see, and it led me to her. So um, there's a little bit of rust on the hook, so I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said. Every bait that I find that I can actually reuse, I replace all the hooks. So there's that. I got an inline six bell spinner. So that's pretty cool. I got that one. Um, that one, I'm not going to replace. That one's still new. So, yeah. 
I got this bad boy right here, um, a jerk bait. This has got to be cleaned up completely. Um, as you can tell, it's just soaking. So, next step is the toothbrush and wire brush. So, again, replacing all the hooks because these are completely corroded. There's that one. And now on to the good ones. We have this five inch swim bait. This is, uh, I'm thinking, a trout. It is by River Sea, and this is a S Waver 120 small. So uh, that's, that's a nice find. Has the Z in the I or the S. And uh, these are actually pretty colors. I'm liking this one. So that's a five incher. So I'll throw that one right there. And that's, that's my favorite right now. Um, I do have bigger ones that are coming into the video, but that by far is my favorite. So we have a six inch swim bait. Now this one's whited out, I can tell, um, as soon as we clean off all the green muck. Um, this is also a uh, Sea River, and this is also a uh, S Waver. This is a 160S. River C, sorry, River C, and this is a 160S S Waver. Pretty cool, all the way, I'm sure uh, my buddy Jesse. Uh, he'll end up getting some paint for it because I know he's gonna end up buying these bigger ones. I'm not too, I'm not a real big fan of the big ones, but uh, it's not gonna hurt to at least keep one and try it out. I know I'm keeping the five inch, so there's that one. And another six inch swim bait, another trout. This one, pretty colors. I really love it. The colors actually stayed on while underwater. Again, the hooks are completely shot, gone. Um, this is also a S waiver. This one is uh, River C. There's no number for this one, but yeah. So there it is, guys. That's what I found. I appreciate you guys watching the channel. Um, like I said, it was cold, but I'm gonna force myself to go out there so that I can give you guys the content that you guys are subscribing for. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. If you guys really like this video, it means a lot to me. Just go ahead and smash that like button. It, it, it motivates me to actually go out there and you know, do this stuff for you guys. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I appreciate the watch, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next adventure. All right? Peace.